This is review number 13, it turns out. To celebrate everyone's favorite spooky number, I'm gonna review a spooky character. Dead End from Revenge of the Fallen. Immediately you'll notice one of his windows is missing. Yeah. Well, he just never had it. Found him in the shop of antiques. It was never there. Like someone had already made off with it. He turns into this innocent looking enough. Not Audi. But it's a lie. He's a robot in disguise. Very nice disguise, though. Yeah, it's because of the lack of window. These don't stay together quite right. But given his characterization in the comics, that's kind of symbolic. Come on. How are you supposed to hide when you got your face right there? The windows. Not road legal at all. All the driver will see is a sea of purple. Yeah, I can tell he wants to come apart. Let's make him. I start if I may by ripping this off. Yeah. All you people who missed out on Revenge of the Fallen toys, here's about what you should expect. Complex stuff that isn't intuitive at first, but if you've got the will, you'll get used to it. Some leaders this day aren't this complex. These shells. They break apart. They reveal a spindly skeletal, almost starved and emaciated figure. Even his hands, symmetrical as they could have been, they are not. Not enough spare parts. He has to make do with what he can find. Chromorph. This saw he no doubt uses to carve off the spare parts from his latest victims so that he may stave off the inevitable collapse of his own form. It, it does lock, trust me. This only loosely attaches, much as his mind only loosely animates that which would otherwise be dead metal. Notice how his kill seems to go everywhere. How it protects almost nothing and exposes the horrible metal. This, contained as it may be, still sticks out like a sore thumb, but not nearly as sore as the thoughts within his troubled mind. A mind which is contained in this unearthly grimace.
with these unnatural compound eyes. Light will come into these eyes in the form of oh so heinous light piping. And you shall see he has no pupils, but many dots, for he sees everything and nothing. How does he pose? Very strangely. Joints which were once loose have been repaired with bits of paper, but are now only a mere fragment of what once could have been. His head barely moveth. He can only turn quizzically as he searches for his next victim. It is uncertain which way his knees are to go. Are they back, like a monster? Or forward, like what would have been civilized had he not gone through his roughest of times? The singular wing adds personality as it symbolizes that he is breaking apart in more ways than one. They're uh, gonna make studio series sideways soon enough. I'm really hoping someone makes a dead end custom of it, because that could look sick. Not nearly as sick, though, as the thoughts was in his most troubled mind. Once he had plans and ambitions like the rest of us, now his only concern is to prevent death for as long as he can. At last, a victim he shall have. His spare parts. 